this video, I am going to put sand, rock, and equipment in here and get this started. And then I'm gonna move over some more rock and coral. This tank came with a power hungry AC pump that I did not wanna use. I had an old JCOD pump that would have been perfect, but it was too big for the return section. So I ended up ordering an AI Axis 40 pump, which has a smaller footprint and should work perfect in this tank. In this tank, I'm gonna use an Eheim Jaeger 75 watt heater. Also, with all my tanks, I use Tunzi Osmolator auto top-offs. I don't trust any other auto top off since this one has just been so reliable over the years. So that's what I'm going to use on this tank as well. So I'm using Carib Sea Fiji Pink Live Sand. I've used this a few times now and I've been really happy with it. I don't get as much crap growing on the sand as when I use like Tropic Eden completely dry sand. So I've always had good success with this. This is my Marine Land power filter that kind of goes in the tank and has a pleated filter. This is just to clarify the water after I add the sand. And this is a Innovative Marine 11 watt Aqua Shield UV. It does not fit in here. So I'm not gonna add this today, but at some point when I need UV, I'm gonna cut this up and make sure See if I can retrofit that thing to fit back there. So I'm gonna use the filter floss for now, but then eventually I might try one of the manual filter fleece rollers. Uh, I think they're 3D printed. They're like a hundred bucks on Etsy or eBay or someone makes them. So that looked pretty cool and they fit the water box specifically. So when it comes to it, I'll try that. So I go to clean my Nero 3 that I had in my frag sump and I was gonna use it in this tank. But when I went to go clean it, it turned out the casing around the motor magnet was cracked and rusted in like three different places. So I had to throw that out. Turns out this is a common issue, but I got a new one from a local reefer anyways. So while waiting for the new Nero 3, I used an old return pump from my Pico tank that I zip tied to some suction cups from my polishing filter. Normally, if I had a piece of equipment fail in only a few years, I wouldn't buy it again. But there's no pump that's as quiet, strong, and small as the Nero 3, so I'm gonna take my chances with it over like a cheap Amazon Chinese knockoff. I was running it at like 100%, so in the 25 gallon, I'm only running at like 50 to 60% max, so hopefully that will keep the heat down and keep the plastic from cracking. I have some rock that's been in my main system for a while that's been cooking in this bucket. Um, so I'm gonna add sand, the rock, and then I'm gonna do a water change on my main system. And I'm gonna pull 15 gallons out of there, put in here. I'm gonna build some quick rock structures using super glue and accelerator. I might use some frag plugs on the bottom of some of these flat rocks just to act as stilts in the sand bed. I'm gonna try to build one or two nice looking structures. Then I have the third in the Pico tank that's coming over. I'm gonna whip something together real quick. Not really gonna put a lot of time into it. Made these two quick rock structures. So let's not delay and get them back in water. There, the plugs go right up to the sand line. So that's nice, and then it allows a little bit of movement of water and critters to get under the rock. So the rock's not buried in trapping detritus. That's the second. And then I have the one other one that's in the Pico tank that I'm gonna add once I move coral over. I see a lot of isopods and amphipods running around on the rock that's been in the bucket. So I decided it must be still pretty clean. So I think I'm just gonna do it all in one go and move the Pico tank over to this tank right away today and get everything up and running in one shot. It's 24 hours later, the tank is cleared up. And I just added the rock and some recordia from the little pico tank but this is just being lit from diffused sunlight right now so i'm going to put that small kessel over here for a day or two until i get my other lights set up so i finalized my aquascape which is kind of hidden by this frag rack back here 
So what I'm going to do is take these euphilia, glue them on the rock. I have these leather corals that are just kind of hanging out on the rock. They're not glued down. So I'm gonna glue down pretty much everything I have in here, kind of see how it looks. And then I have some new corals I got for this tank. I got the Pagoda Cup Turbinaria. I got a Cristata Torch, Blue Kenya Tree Capnella. Oh, I traded a guy piece of chalice for this Bali mini carpet anemone. So it's not a maxi mini, it's some other species, but it only gets about an inch to an inch and a half and they split. Uh, old classic candy cane coral, teal blue hammer. Yeah, I'm going to mount these and see how everything looks. up here. The pagoda cup is temporary. I gotta find a spot for that because the red and blue zinnia are gonna go here. And then I have some more room for some more euphilia up on top. Definitely a finalized aquascape. So plenty of little caves and stuff for once I get fish. Um, now that I have everything glued in, a lot of super glue went in here. So I'm gonna do like a 10 gallon water change. After a few weeks of all the corals being in the tank, I'm noticing a few of the euphilia corals are starting to lighten up or bleach a little bit. The lights are tuned to a max of about 150 par in the upper middle portion. However, I have not factored in how much light the sun is adding on the sunniest day. It might be a change in the lighting and less food available since I don't have fish in here yet. So I started supplementing with reefroids until I add some fish. I've also tuned down the radion a little bit. Other than that, all the corals seem to be doing well. Even the euphilia that are a little bit lighter color are still fully opening. I expect them to be just fine. The next thing I added after corals seem to be doing well was a cleanup crew. I started noticing a little bit of hair algae and stuff growing on the glass. So I figured it was a good time to stock this tank with some cleanup crew. For this tank, at least to get the old rock from the Pico cleaned and the rest maintained, I have added the following some Nassarius snails for the sand, an emerald crab and a Mexican tuxedo snail for the macro algaes, a small army of blue leg hermits, and a couple scarlet hermits for hair algae. I added a couple small astreas and cerithes for general grazing, and a money cowrie. Once the algae is kind of in check from the old pico tank, I'll probably move the emerald crab and the Mexican turbo snail over to my main display tank. And then if things start to creep up, I'll kind of move them back into the 25 gallon just to kind of clean up. Mm -hmm. 